Hello and welcome to week 5, the final week of AC 1110 Accounting Fundamentals. This is week 5. The class will then close on Sunday, March 6th, the Sunday following the final week. That means that everything has to be updated and in at that time. The grades will push out of my hands by the following Tuesday after that close period. Therefore, make sure to get any questions to me before that time. We want to pick up all work that we can by the close of the class, including late work and all work up through week five, then I will do my best to get the grades in there on Monday and then check your grade books and give me a contact before Tuesday night if there's any questions on that. After that time, they will be pushed out to the portal and I'll have very little control over them at that time. That being said, we have the contact information here with the phone number, we got the website, we have the office hours, one more office hours on Monday. It's a different phone number, so we have the call in line, and we have the screen share software if you'd like to log in at that time. It is a question and answer format, and it's not mandatory, so if you have questions at that time, that time is carved out for you. Also remember that there are videos to most of the problems that we are using. The videos are on this link. If this link is not pulling up, or any of the, any of the hyperlinks are not pulling up as quick as you would hope, most of the videos are also on this YouTube channel as well. You'll have to find them there, but this may be a little bit faster, especially if you're using a tablet or a phone or something like that. So if you go to the YouTube channel and then we scroll down to AC1110 under the charter classes. So here's charter, here's AC1110. They're all in this area, so you can go through here and, and find them by name in here you may have to search around a bit if you're having any problems you could send me the problem that you're working on and i'll give you the direct link to the youtube channel right up, rather than the other website if that would be helpful to you let's scroll down to the current week that we are in which is week five and week five we have our normal objectives up here we've got our topics here we've got our lessons key point on the lessons is of course that we are only covering chapter five at this time we started chapter five last time. We're gonna complete chapter five this time. We're not moving on to any new chapters, which is the good news. And, but <laughs> chapter five is fairly long. So uh, we do have a fairly substantial amount of work, but there might be a little less work. So you can have some time to catch up on late work at this time. You've got your links here to the videos. Uh, remember that these links are to the website. If any links are pulling up slow, most of the stuff is on the YouTube channel as well. You have to search for it a bit there, but they should be in there. Note that uh, the links, these videos will repeat for some of them, especially this building blocks video. I do recommend going over that one over and over, even when we go on to the next classes going forward to those videos, because you do generally pick up more information just going over those basic, those core concepts. All right, so then we have the actual work that we need to do from the discussion posts down. So remember what you would like to do, what we want to do is use this piece, the Moodle rooms is where you wanna check off that you have done all the work. That's how the courses are designed. So this is where you wanna go through everything and say, okay, we have to do the discussion forms, then check them off, then the assignments, even though one's in connect and one's in Moodle, or in connect um, will be outlined in Moodle rooms. Some of the things in Moodle rooms will not be outlined in connect therefore you want to use this area to check them all off so you're going to check them off once you do it in connect homework those are going to that's going to be in um connect you're going to check them off in moodle rooms same with the quiz of course it is the final this time so make sure to take the final remember the strategy that i recommend for all charter college classes for the most part is make sure to pick up full credit on the 21 percent of the discussion forms you have the most control over those therefore you get full credit on that and then try to get as much as full credit on the assignments and homework as possible. Yes, I know there's a lot of it, <laughs> so you may not be able to get full credit on it, but you should get some points on all of it. I wouldn't get any zeros on any of that. There are enough resources to pick up points, uh, if not close to full credit, if not all full credit, on those assignments. So do your best to pick up all those points. Then, when you go into the midterm and the final, they're worth 33%, and that's the quizzes, midterm, and final put together are worth 33%. The final, of course, is worth more of that 33%. So the final will affect that 33% portion of the grade more substantially than the quizzes will. So that's what we want to pick up on this final week, going back to Moodle Rooms over here. Uh, remember how we're going to do that. We're going to pick up the discussion forms first. I'm going to say we need at least four posts generally to pick up the full credit. 
you can post more than four times. I do recommend posting more than four times because four posts is generally uh, really substantial posts. So if your posts are less than substantial, you'll need to post more than four. Also note that if we post things that say something like good post to somebody else, that's not going to give you too many points, if any, for most instructors. Because although I do encourage that because it's good to put that information and encourage other people to post, there's nothing new in terms of content in that kind of post. It's kind of like a, a head nod when you're in a face-to-face -face conversation, which is nice. I encourage it. It doesn't really add any material, though. So keep that in mind. Uh, a lot of instructors will actually ask you not to do, not to have posts like that. Uh, I'm just going to say that I'm not going to give any credit generally for posts that don't add the content. So, so keep that in mind. Uh, what we do need to do to add content is ask questions that are related, add some new material that's related, and and whatnot like that. So uh, I, I, let me know if there's any questions on that. We have the assignments down here. We've got uh, Connect. One's going to be in Connect. One's in Moodle Room. And of course, Connect is up here. So if we go into Connect, we are now on Week 5. And if we look at Week 5, I do recommend doing the Learn Smart first. But this is the Connect problem. It is the longer problem. Remember that this paperclip is in relation to this problem. So you want to make sure to open the paperclip, have that available when you work the problem. If you were to open the paperclip, it would look like this. Uh, the first tab would have video links on it. You can go to the video links. The second tab will look like this. These journal entries will be very similar to the journal entries that are going to be in the problem within Connect. We're not going to have negative numbers. However, when we put it in the Connect, that's going to be a slightly different format. As will happen in practice, uh, debits and credits will often be formatted in different ways. We've got to kind of figure out how the debits and credits are formatted. And, but the, the accounts will generally be the same for the most part. So you can pick up a lot of points by just basically looking at the, this worksheet and figuring out how to transpose this same numbers, this same data into the worksheet. And the, and the idea of just doing that with a problem that's fairly substantial such as this is, is worth the time to do. So take a look at this. Make sure to pick that up. You could also use the worksheet to work this problem. You do not have to do that. So however, I, I do recommend doing so because it is really good to practice in Excel as well. I think it really helped you to see how this stuff ties together. All right, we're going to go back to Moodle Rooms. This is going to be a, a problem in Moodle Rooms. What you want to do is download this assignment. If you download this, you'll download an assignment. It'll be an Excel sheet. It'll be a much smaller Excel sheet. And then there'll be a submit button. You want to submit this one to Moodle Rooms, not to connect. To Moodle Rooms, not to connect. If you submitted stuff to connect that was a Moodle Rooms problem in the past, just go ahead and download it again and upload it to Moodle Rooms. And I'll update the grade for you on that. Going back to the cookie trail up here, scrolling down to the current week that we are in, week five. We then have uh, the Connect homework. That's the Learn Smart. I'm going to go up to Connect here. There's only one of those that's here. So you want to pick that one up, going back to Moodle Rooms. And then, of course, we have the uh, final. Make sure to take the final by the end. This is worth probably the most points out of anything in week five. It is a multiple choice question, same format. You got the four hours to do it. Make sure you have everything open available to you. I would have a trial balance open. I'd have printouts of the book, PDFs of the book if you would like those, and worksheets. I'd have an Excel document open when working on that. And make sure you have everything you can get in order to work that problem. Then I'm going to take a look at the gradebook up top here in the gradebook green icon. So remember how the gradebook is going to work at the end of week four. I have until Tuesday to populate the grades from Connect or anywhere else into the gradebook. So as of Tuesday, you want to go in and see, okay, that chapter four dash should show up to be 100 because everybody's trying to get 100% on the discussions. Uh, the midterm will show up whatever you have here. Same with the assignments through week four as of Tuesday following the end of week four. Then you want to go in there, double check that it's uh, appropriate that your grades are showing as you think they should. If you have any questions, contact me at that time. At the end of week five, which is March 6th, Sunday, the end of the class, you want to have everything updated by that time. That's when the class closes. Now, I have until Tuesday to enter the grades after the close of the class. Then the grades will be out of my hands. I'm going to try to get the grades in there by Monday night. Then you want to check it on Tuesday as early as possible and let me know if there's anything that you think is not 
uh, lining up to what you believe it should be, let me know as soon as possible so I can con I can get to it <laughs> before the grades push, which will happen Tuesday night. After that point, it would be much more difficult to make a grade change. So just make sure to monitor that as of the end of the class here and uh, make sure that you're checking your grades, you know what it should be, and then just uh, give them one final check on Tuesday and let me know if there's any questions at that time. And then we have the instructor survey down here. This is mainly geared towards the instructor's performance and not geared so much towards things that the instructor does not have control over. So some of the things that the instructor does not have control over are the amount of material that's going to be in the course, the uh, use of technology such as Connect, and uh, the Moodle Room setup, how Moodle Room is set up. If you have questions about those things, then please put those into the comments in the survey and I will relay those. Hopefully we can relay those to the design team who uh, is the one in charge of that type of stuff. The information that the instructor does have control over is basically how, how fast they get back to student comments, you know, how much they're going to post to uh, the discussion forums, any added resources on top of uh, the McGraw-Hill and Moodle rooms added for uh, use and benefit of students. Those are the types of things there. Uh, Charter College policy generally expects around a 90% for instructor performance on those.